Watch out. Killwine acting like they never even actually hit him. McCabe goes down. Mushigalusa goes to the crossbar. Good job positioning wise by Hugo Ferro. Not enough contact at all. Just stand your ground. I like the fact that he doesn't dive in. And if you're Mushigalusa, Red Bull 2, battery at home, on the road at Loudoun. Home against Atlanta United, too. Now, you may not like the resume overall and who they've got results against, but it's still a chance for them to gain some confidence. Mushigalusa, early ball. Harris! Harris scores in the last minute of the game! An exclamation point, and this boy can't stop scoring! From Wilson Harris, the brace from the Englishman. And just like that, it's gone from bad to worse for FC Tulsa. But with Wilson Harris, the turn on a dime. Great explosion down into the channel. As he pulls this back across, Mike, the drift off the right foot to get a touch. McCabe. Headed down, diving stop. And swept aside. Not out of the woods yet. Header down and in. Musha Galusa makes it 3 0 and adds the gritty to it. <laughs> Much like that second goal, unable to clear it well enough. And at this point, when the ball gets recycled out, when you need to touch a man and grab that man and don't let him go without your sight, you just see the lack of marking, the lack of clearance as well. It's a bit shocking from the Red Bull side. Got to try and play through to Costa and Maloto. Maybe that's the reason why Maloto is on the field at the moment. I think you're exactly right. Maloto just brings... Bone here to Mushaglu's onside, and he scores. It's his second of the night. And with 18 minutes to go, it's Mushaglusa again, who scores for his team, his ninth goal of the season. It's FC Tulsa 1, Lou City 2. But just in the blink of an eye, the quick transition, great play. Bone plays a very good ball. One touch, one finish. It's all Mushigalusa needs. Can't allow Louisville to have around 65% of the possession on their field and expect to get yourself a result. They're up near 60. So in that neighborhood, Mushigalusa turns. Mushigalusa scores! <laughs> drop in by Corbin Bone and they go to work. The deep lying run that is normally Cameron Lancaster has obviously been passed down to Wilson Harris. Drags the runners with him. And Bone be sneaking in. Is he the target? It's McCabe. They did try. Chance here from inside. And it's a goal! A goal for Louisville City! A gorgeous shot, and it's Mushigalusa. See, Skendi wins the header away on the edge of the box. Mushigalusa sets the ball on the half volley. I was just ready to ask you about McCabe. He seems more active tonight than he has been recently. More on that in a second. Mushigalusa waits up for it and finishes it. The hesitation, the finish. It's his second goal of the year against Charleston. And his ability to cut in. But how about the inversion by Amadou Dia? Because as he cuts, he restricts the overall movement by the Charleston battery. Everybody starts to gravitate towards where the next run is going to come from. Your mind fluctuates in the wrong direction. And they forget about the easiest route. It's Musha Galusa coming from outside in. He holds the width of the play. Starts to create that diagonal just in between Leland Archer and Preston Kilwine. It's put on a platter and he slides it into the near post. The little cut back across, goalkeeper gets caught. Now the problem with a limited bench here for Louisville, if Danny Cruz is even considering getting Mushigalusa out because he's already on a yellow and now on the radar after that last foul, who do you go to is the question. It's over to him now, chance for Mushigalusa! On cue, levels it for Louisville.
The best part of the attack all Louisville evening City, has been Mushigalusa. It's the left side. It's been constant. Some decision making inside the box has been lacking, but not this time. Rarely do we see the occurrence where Kuzminski is beat on the near post. He's worried about the back post runs, cheats a little bit. Also feels like he has some help from the two center backs and Archer and Kilwine as they're coming back across. Big moments now, 34 minutes gone here for both teams. Jimenez towards the penalty spot. There's a player down. There's a real chance. Musha Galuza levels it up for the league leaders. He was on his own. The ball fell to him nicely. Six yards out. And with 11 minutes to go to half time, it is now FC Tulsa 1, Lou City 1. Another look here at the replay. You see the unfortunate touch. Falls right to Musha Galusa.